What's up potatoes and welcome to another Velvet Shell video. Today we're going to be doing a quick run through of the new coastline map and I'll be showing you the fastest way to learn the map so you can get that extra edge. Now if you're anything like me you have a hard time learning the map and the callouts easy. So this is kind of me helping you help me because making this video made me learn the map pretty fast. I'll be using the callouts that the game gives me but obviously you can call them whatever you want. I just think it's a good place to start to get yourself oriented. Also I'll include a picture of the entire map from a top down view so you can get two different perspectives and just just ignore my photoshop skills. We'll start on the bottom floor in main lobby. Main lobby has some important features. That doorway leads to hallway to blue bar, that leads to the toilets, and this leads to courtyard. That doorway comes from security room, and one of the cams on the bottom floor which is marked as a red dot on the map is right here. To my left is theater stairs which leads up to the second floor. Anyways, let's get to the next section. Here we're in toilets, it's pretty straightforward. And then we enter into service entrance, which is an L-shaped room. You have an entrance on the outside right there, and the door leading to the kitchen right here. The kitchen is again pretty straightforward. You have two doorway entrances and a window entrance right there. Again, with three objectives, you're gonna see a lot of play. Anyways, let's move on. Before we go into Sunrise Bar, let me just show you stairs that head up to the second floor. You can call these the Cool Vibe Stairs, V Stairs, whatever you want. There's also a cam in this hallway. Sunrise Bar is the main entrance point from the pool spawn point, and it doesn't have too many interesting features about it. You get two windows and a door facing outside. Blue Bar is another busy objective room with three objectives here. It also has one window facing outside and walls facing the courtyard. This means that it can be opened up quite a bit. Let's move on to the office. There are no objectives in this room and it serves mainly as an entrance point and a connector, but it's still a large room that should see a lot of action. It leads into this hallway which is called Sunroom, which leads into Security Room. And we have basically just made a big circle because this door leads back into the main lobby. Another main feature of this map is the courtyard which is right in the middle. It's open air but defenders don't get detected if they run through it. It has two big windows looking down from the second floor and is a primary breach point for Blue Bar. And that's everything for the bottom floor, it's pretty simple. Let's move on to the top floor. The top floor is a little bit more complicated than the bottom floor, but it's the same idea. We're just going to do a big circle and then end up right where we started. We'll start on theater stairs to head up to second floor. The door right in front of me is south hallway and to my right is theater room and a camera. Before we go into theater room, let's shoot out this cam. Theater room is pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated, and it leads into penthouse. Penthouse is another busy objective room with a main window that looks outside. It also has many walls to reinforce and a lot of entrances. Penthouse bathroom should always be reinforced for this reason. Next up is the Hall of Fame connector. There's not too much to know about this connector, but to the right is DJ Booth. VIP Lounge is a pretty simple room. It only contains one objective, two entrances, a couple walls. Easy. From this door, we can head out into hallway. To the left is where we shot out the first cam. This window here lets you look across the courtyard and you can jump down to the bottom floor as well. But before we talk about billiards room or pool table, we got to talk about the cool vibe stairs which are right here and they lead up right next to the hookah lounge. Hookah lounge is pretty straightforward, you can get a bomb site in here, but it's mostly an entry room from like ruins with its outward facing door and windows.
billiard slash pool table is a pretty cool room. It's split in two. And as I'm sure you already know, you can actually play pool on the table. Another important thing to note is that both the objectives are right beside the pool table. And this door leads into aquarium. Aquarium has no objectives, but there is a camera in this room, so make sure you get that. Aquarium leads into South Hallway where again you can look across Courtyard to see where VIP lounge is and you can also jump down onto a ledge on the bottom floor. And that's basically it for the second floor. We did a big circle and we're back at the theater stairs. It's kind of weird how Coastline really only has four cameras inside. I find that kind of weird but it is what it is. And I know this isn't super comprehensive like I didn't go over hatches or anything but this definitely gives you an edge over people who don't know the map at all. I mean, you're not going to be really good at this map until you play it a bunch anyways, so make sure you get out there and play it. Let me know what you think about the map and Velvet Shell in general, I'm very interested to hear about that. And if you found the video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. <laughs> and also, before I forget, I would reset my custom game by killing the hostage, so rest in peace to all the hostages I killed, I'm sorry. You crazy mother-